Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage your XRP tokens and store them safely and securely in your own wallet. So let's get started. Hey everyone, Crypto Dad again. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your XRP tokens. There's been a lot of talk about self custody in the news lately because of the FTX collapse. So a lot of people want to know how to store their tokens in their own wallets. So I'm going to show you how to purchase tokens on an exchange and then transfer them into your own wallet. And today I'm going to show you two different hardware wallets, the Ledger Nano X and the Trezor Model T. So let's jump in. So a lot of people are learning that it's better to store your crypto in your own wallets rather than leave it on exchanges, which can be risky. So I'm going to show you a typical workflow that I would do in order to make a purchase and then immediately store the crypto in my own wallet. So we'll start with Ledger Live. Ledger Live is a software that you use to manage your cryptocurrency. And I'm going to use some stable coin that I have stored in my own wallet in order to make my purchase. So we'll just go over here to accounts into one of my Ethereum wallets. And you can see here that I've got some US dollar coin stored in my own wallet. I like to keep my stable coin stored in my own wallet so that I can remain flexible. So if for one, if for whatever reason uh, an exchange is down, I can use a different exchange. Where am I going to make my purchase of XRP? Well, XRP is not available on US-based exchanges right now, so I can't use my go-to exchange, Coinbase. I can't use Kraken either. They don't sell or support XRP, and neither does Binance US. If you're outside the US and you have a Binance account, you can use Binance. As you can see, I'm blocked from using it. I have to go to the US-based exchange. But uh, Binance US does not sell XRP, but regular Binance does. So I'm going to use KuCoin to make my purchase. Now on KuCoin, you can use uh, debit or credit cards to make purchases. You can buy stablecoin using credit cards or debit cards. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my own stablecoin that I have in my wallet. So what I need to do is deposit my stablecoin into my KuCoin account. So I'll go over here to the account interface. I'll start at the main account and I'll search for US dollar coin. I'll make a deposit and I'm going to use ERC 20 base stable coin. As I showed you, I have it in my Ethereum wallet here. All I need is the address of my US dollar coin account in my KuCoin account. I'll copy this into my clipboard. I'll go back over to my wallet and I'll do a send. I'll send it directly to that address in KuCoin. Notice I've got this little warning here that it can't auto verify. That just means I need to eyeball it myself. So I'll just double check the address here and make sure that it matches. All right, once I've done that, I'll choose continue. And I'm going to send 200 US dollar coin over. I'm gonna have to pay a little bit of fees to do that, but I would rather pay the fees in order to self custody my own coin, then risk losing my coins by keeping them on an exchange, which is not secure. So we'll hit continue here. And now I need to attach my device in order to authorize this outgoing transaction. I'll go ahead and connect my device and get my pin entered. All right, so it wants me to enter the Ethereum app. So I'll just go ahead and click both buttons to do that. All right, and I just need to authorize this outgoing transaction. I'll advance forward by clicking this metal button. There's the amount. There's the address I'm sending to. There's the fees that I'll be paying. And then I'll click both buttons. All right, and off it goes. All right, and that went out. I'm going to monitor my KuCoin account and wait for that stable coin to arrive. While I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and prepare my wallets for the incoming XRP. Now, if you don't have an XRP account in your Ledger Live yet, in order to manage XRP, all you have to do is go over here to the accounts section on the left and then choose add account. And then you'll just pull down this menu and choose X, search for XRP. All right, and choose continue. 
All right, you're gonna need to have your device plugged in. All right, and it's asking me to open the XRP app. If you don't have the XRP app installed on your device, Ledger Live will install it for you automatically. So I'll just click both buttons to open the app. And then it's gonna scan my device for any existing wallets. If there are no existing wallets, it'll create an empty wallet and offer you that choice. So as you can see here, I have an existing wallet, but it's also asking me if I wanna create an empty one. So if you've never done this before, you'll just uh, tick off the empty wallet and create a brand new account. I'll just go ahead and use the one that's already there. All right, and now that I've got access to my XRP account, I'll just open it up and choose receive. All right, and there's my XRP address. It's going to show up on my device as well. And I'll just leave it at that while I wait for the uh, stable coin to arrive in my KuCoin account. Also, we can go over to the Trezor suite, which is the software that you use to manage your Trezor. I'll go ahead and connect my Trezor device and then I'll enter the pin on that. Or once I've entered the pin on my device, it should open up. I'm using a standard wallet. Now, as you can see, I have an XRP account created here, but if you don't, all you have to do is go over here to enable more coins. And that gives you the interface for turning XRP on and off, right? Just make sure that it's got a check mark next to it. You can go back to your dashboard, so I'll just click on XRP and then I'll do a receive over here. And then in order to show the full address, I'll click this button and then it'll show me the address on my device, which I will uh, double check on my screen to make sure they match. And then I can hit this uh, green check mark to confirm. All right, and I'll leave that address up while I'm uh, making my purchase on KuCoin. All right, so I'll go back over here to KuCoin and as you can see, my deposit has completed. So now that I have deposited my coins, I'll just double check my trading account. I'll check my trading account and make sure that the uh, coins are in there. Just do a quick refresh. And there's my US dollar coin. I'm gonna use all of this to buy XRP and then we'll split up my withdrawals between my two different wallets, just as a demo. So I'll go over here to trade all right, and I'll choose XRP. There are a lot of pairs that you can trade for XRP. Notice I could have traded um, Bitcoin for XRP or Ethereum for XRP, but in today's case, I deposited some US dollar coin in order to make my trade. So I'll choose that pair. I'll go over here to market. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you could do a limit or a stop limit order, but I just like to keep it simple and do a quick market order. I'll spend 100% of my U.S. dollar coin to buy XRP. And then I can check my trading account and see that I've got the XRP there. Right. Now that I have made my trade and I have my XRP in my trading account, I need to move it back to the main account because I can't withdraw directly from the trading. So I'll go ahead and uh, make that transfer from trading to main. We'll choose that XRP and I'll just send it all over there. All right, and if we check the main account, do a quick refresh, you can see that I've got the XRP in there. Now I wanna make my withdrawal. Uh, I'm gonna split this up. So I'll do like half to the ledger and half to the Trezor. So we've got the ledger address here. I'll copy that into my clipboard. We'll go back over here and do a withdraw. I'll paste in the address of my ledger wallet and then I'll choose the network. There's only one XRP. And I don't need the tag for my own wallet. If you look here, there is no tag required to make a deposit into my own wallet. So you can safely ignore the tag when you're making your withdrawal. Now, if you were sending to a different exchange that required a tag, then you would need to put the tag in here, but I'm not, I'm withdrawing to my own wallet. Instead of all of it, I'll do 250. 
and then I'll go down here to withdraw. All right, they're going to warn me again about that tag. I don't need the tag. So uh, there's the uh, breakdown of what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to need to uh, do a few security procedures here. I'll get that code from my email. All right, there's that withdrawal code. I'll paste that in and then I'll use my two factor. All right, that was successful. And then I'll just uh, wait for this uh, XRP to come into my wallet. And I can go ahead and uh, approve this address. I've already used it. And then I can dismiss this and just wait for that XRP. You can see over here in recent withdrawals that the outgoing withdrawal is in progress. And you can see that my uh, 250 XRP uh, withdrawal has now arrived in my wallet. All right. So let's go and uh, withdraw into the Trezor wallet. There's the address of my Trezor wallet. I'll copy it into my clipboard. I'll go over to KuCoin. I'll go ahead and paste in the address of my Trezor wallet. I'll choose the network as XRP again. And once again, I can safely ignore the tag. As you can see, there's no tag required to make a deposit into your own wallet. I'll go ahead and pull the rest of that out. I'll choose withdrawal. Once again, I can uh, safely ignore the tag. We'll go through this again. And they basically just want my trading password for this since I have, I've already made one withdrawal. All right, and that was successful as well. I'll go back over here, I can dismiss this. Keep in mind when you manage your own XRP wallet that you do have to maintain a minimum balance of 10 XRP, so that's pretty much gonna be stuck in the wallet forever. But uh, there are ways of getting it out or most of it out, but it's not a huge deal, really. I just keep that in mind. You can see over here on KuCoin that uh, that withdrawal is in progress, that second withdrawal. And so I've safely withdrawn all of my crypto from KuCoin. As you noticed, I don't, I'm not keeping anything on KuCoin long term. When I want to make a trade, I do a deposit of stablecoin. I could have also used Bitcoin or Ethereum to fund my trade if I wanted to do it that way. But I can also use uh, stablecoin like Tether or US dollar coin. But I like to keep those in my wallet until I'm ready to make my trade. Make my deposit, make my trade, and then withdraw back to my own wallet so that I don't keep anything on exchanges long term. I can go over here to Trezor, and you can see here that the uh, XRP has now arrived in my Trezor wallet. So there you go. Made one quick trade and made two withdrawals to separate wallets, and now my XRP is safe and secure in my own wallet. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments, and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live stream from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.